Hi and welcome to <coughs> Hi and welcome to how to use CAD. For today's tutorial we're going to take a look at garden offices. A garden office is a really simple project. It takes very little time to draw and likewise to build. By the end of the tutorial you will have a clear idea of the key elements and how to design your own garden office. garden offices. They've never been more popular. Uh, items uh, or little boxes like this, uh, almost all of our clients, they, they ask uh, about the possibilities of if there's enough budget about getting a garden office done. Um, so I tell them that, say something like this, which is about three meters by two pint something, uh, garden office for one person, say. Uh, Generally, you can buy them off the shelf for about ten thousand uh, pound, ten twelve thousand, and that's a kind of a starting price. Now, some of those they're built off site and they're just craned in and dropped in. Others, uh, you prepare the base and then they come in and all the component parts are made off site and basically they're just assembled. So it only takes like half a day to put them together, as long as there's a power supply there and a bit of internet, and you're up and running by the end of the day. Uh, great idea because um, I, I've worked um, in garden offices or studios for maybe the best part of 10 or 15 years out of my career and uh, to be honest once you've uh, made the adjustment of going to work down the back going out the back door rather than the front door um, it really is the mere fact that you're in a different uh, building uh, you forget it doesn't matter whether you're 10 miles from your home or uh, 10 yards because uh, the garden office really is good for separating um, the work life from your personal life. Um, great idea, very cost effective and of course even more so now uh, in the post-Covid era because uh, people are building, they're still working from home even if not full-time they're working from home a few days a week so garden offices is a, it's a huge growth area and we also get inquiries specifically for garden offices where people are not building an extension looking to extend at all other than creating a garden office or studio at the back of the, the back of the garden. Um, I like these that, like I say that's about three by two uh, three by two and a bit uh, three meters by two and a bit height wise if you can see it's low at the back because uh, there's planning regs with regard to the heights. If you can stay within two meters at the back and uh, two and a half meters at the front, you don't even need a planning application and it's just treated as a shed. Uh, so ideally what you do is stay away from the boundary about a meter if you can. And if you can do that uh, and you stay within two meters at the back, two and a half meters as I say you don't need planning but sometimes it's better to do the planning so that you can have a bit more custom meaning you can get a little bit more height going and so on so this is a bigger one uh, so it looks like an odd thing to have in the back garden because there's uh, two or three business people there so I guess if you have a garden office you're likely to have the odd meeting or so but either way I mean it's pretty nicely laid out and don't forget uh, a lot of them can double up as a games room or maybe uh, you know get a big TV on the wall kids can play in there uh, over the weekends or in the evenings or uh, even if it's you know if you can sec separate or uh, they can have multiple uses. Uh, so uh, what I wanted to do now was I wanted to show you a very simple one that one of my clients wanted. So uh, basically we call it a shed because it was for planning. We were doing a planning application for a drop curb but we threw in the uh, office, uh, garden office at the back. So as you can see, two seven deep, uh, seven meters wide. Now that's a good old lent. Uh, and also, so it's a garden office, but we popped in a bit of storage and uh, a toilet. A toilet is a useful addition. If you've got the space, um, it saves you going back into the house. Or if you've got guests, uh, the, the toilet is really quite useful. And uh, it's always good anyway to have a bit of running water because you can make a cup of tea and you can have uh, a few more basic amenities. So that, so that you're self-sufficient really from the 
time you go out in the morning until the time you finish work. Storage, as I say, is great. So on this case, what we, all we had was um, basically uh, this is done in 150 by 50. In other words, it's a timber framed building made up of 6 by 2 or 150 by 50, whichever way you want to call it. And it's well insulated. And then on the outside is covered with ply. And then uh, the client was after cladding. OK, so we it's 150 by 50. Uh, insulated Celotex in between the uh, the studs and then uh, plywood yeah I think it was about 12 mil ply and then clad and that can be painted or stained afterwards so here we put in uh, we allowed for about three meters of bifolds which would be anthracite gray uh, floor to ceiling uh, here just a standard regular exterior door something very plain to keep up with the cladding then at the back here there's just a, a standard upvc window the like it likes that you could because it's at the back and no one's ever going to see it it's functional it's about giving you a little airflow um, then you just buy off the shelf in other words uh, you pop down to selco or travis perkins and you buy one and uh, you know a, a window be about 70 pound rather than having one made to measure for 400 pound you can just go and buy one if you're really insisting on having an uh, anthracite gray like this then go to halfords pick up some anthracite gray mask up the window and give it a spray so either way it's way cheaper than having it custom made um, when it comes to the fittings and so on again um, if, because of it's a garden office it doesn't have to be anything other than uh, what we call utility fittings meaning a very basic uh, modern loo and basin and uh, that'll get you out of trouble so getting the drainage in is always a, a tough one but if you're doing a garden office then uh, it's always worth checking out the manhole where it is and so on in this particular case the manhole was here so again digging out digging a root here and getting an orange pipe in sounds like a lot of work but the reality was about a day and a half i think a couple of days pay for a labor and you've got proper drainage rather than trying to do it on a pumped system or anything like that so that's that's what was done there uh, so getting back to the design basically cladding outside i told you six by two roof again four by two uh covered four by two covered covered again with uh, plywood then uh, a Celotex insulation on top and then another layer of plywood or um, you know and, and there's a few different types of board you can use and then it was covered with um, rubber EPDM uh, again very simple and this is the look uh, so this is a lovely looking door nice bit of fascia fascia you paint it up again that can be in ply or it can be UPVC and again, spray it up on the gray if you're going to have the anthracite to make it all look. What's also nice is if you have a, just outside the door, if you have about a meter and a half of decking or something like that, that can be stained down. Uh, decking, uh, uh, even a little veranda, so to speak. Something you can step out on, throw a couch on or, a, you know, a gar bit of garden furniture on, a couple of chairs and a table. And that, that will add so if you look at these ones they've got a patio all the way around and of course you can do that so but the, 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 the shed very very simple you see they've got a few lights there which is lovely anthracite gray on the outside um, and then they've used white inside so again you see they've used uh, fascia board overhanging so you could easily do that you see I overhung here by about 500 mil uh, which always looks great get a few recessed lights into there and uh, You've got yourself a smashing little office now. Let me tell you the, this little small one here 10 to 12,000 pound probably closer to 12,000 but this one uh, You could build it yourself if you went down to Selco and bought the timber and the Celotex You could build the whole thing for about 3,000 pound uh, and as for the windows here, uh, there's places online where you can, they don't have to be top of the range for a garden studio, but you could get these for about 1500 to 2000. So all in, in all in, five, 5k. But this is twice the size of 
that one. This is more in keeping with this one. Now this will definitely be around £20,000 online, whereas this one, at a similar size, you could build it for about 5k. No problem there. Even getting a chippy in for a few days if you, know, if you really needed some expert help. But uh, that's all I can tell you. Designing it, well, I think it was about an hour's work in total. Once you've got the measurements and you know how you're building, then you just pop the doors in, the partitions. Uh, as I say, this was really, really simple work. And then outside, uh, again, doing the elevations, very, very simple, very easy to do. Roof, there you go. It's just one flat sloping roof, sloping down uh, to the, to the uh, boundary. And again, this was the main house, which we didn't touch. And this is the route. There's a side access here. So, and even if you didn't live on the property, you could actually access the garden office um, or come and go to the garden office. So, really great. So, uh, garden offices are here to stay. They're certainly, it's a growth area. So, I would say practice a bit, you know, download a few plans here and there, maybe of garden offices and mutilate them and recreate just copy from the picture if you want you know redesign that and redraw that but get some practice in on the garden offices and get knowledgeable with regard to the planning uh, rules it's not too it's not too much to grasp but um, as i say because you're going to need it any designer worth his salt is going to be out there uh, meeting clients you got to know your way around the garden offices and garden uh, studios and garden rooms and so on okay thank you very much for joining me hope hopefully you've had some value uh i'll see you on the next video thanks again bye bye